Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your monthly reading for January 2018. Happy New Year. I have pre-shuffled this deck so whatever falls out I'm going to let go and I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. Now I have to let you know this may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading. This is a general reading for a, a large audience, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest. I will focus the camera in once I have the cards laid out. I have to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and this recording should not be on anybody else's channel. If it is, please report it. Send me an email so that I can report it to DCMA. Okay, so there's big changes. There's big changes this month. Happy New Year. It looks like you guys are going through an awakening. You're, you've had some kind of epiphany and change is on the horizon. You're probably really contemplating where you want your future to go. Um, I feel like you guys have taken some time to focus. If you haven't, you're going to this month. You're really, really focusing on the future. You're thinking positive. Um, it looks really good. It looks like you're letting go of things that were holding you back uh, mentally. Okay, you're gonna you're starting to bring some peace back to your life. You're searching for love, and I think that um, balance is starting to come back. Okay, starting to um, let go of the need to control. I feel like this month you've had this awakening where, you know, you're. You're not going to try to rush things. It feels like you're just going to go with the flow this month. You're like, all right, I'm ready for this new year. It's, it looks like January is pretty, pretty, um, you know, positive. It does. I think that you're pretty excited for the new year. Congratulations. You could be receiving a message of love. Okay. You could be good news. Um, regarding a family member or a birth or a child or even a new relationship, okay? And I think it's very welcome un and unexpected news that you're going to receive. You've been waiting for it and it's going to really, um, what's the word for it? Pipe you up, you know, it's going to make you feel good. You're going to, it seems like it's going to be a positive month as I can see. I think that things are going to be pretty peaceful for you. I mean, you're feeling very, very good and excited about the future. I don't see a lot of depression here. I don't. I feel like the depression that you've had in the past is dwindling and that, you know, you're in search for love. You're in search for something more and it feels like it's 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 time. It's time for your justice to be served and you're realizing that you're going to do the right thing for you during this time and I think you're starting to have more faith in divine timing. Um and you're just ready you're letting go of the need to control the situation, okay? You're so so close to a cycle being completed in your life, a negative cycle, and I think that it's it's right almost there. It's almost there. Um, I think you're shedding the old you and the new you is right around the corner. All right. It just, it looks like this month may be a month of recuperation and re-evaluation. Re okay. It is January 2018 and that's what most people do. A lot of people do this in January and it's pretty prominent that you're going to be doing it with this four of swords and the, and the hermit and this um, awakening that's coming. You are going through a period of focusing on where you want this year to go. I mean, that's what's going on in the search for love. It looks like you're really like trying to manifest. I mean, when you focus, you're manifesting. So maybe this month you really want to get out that piece of paper and write down your goals, write down your desires, write down your wishes, okay? What you're looking for in a partner if you're single, write it down on a piece of paper because I feel like, you know, there's a this month is a month of reevaluating. It really is reevaluating your future about um 
what's really right for you, you know, um, discovering your, your goals, discovering what you're, what's going to meet your needs. I feel like there's no more crying over a loss. There's no more, um, balance. There's no more juggling. There's no more juggling back and forth between love and hate. You know what I mean? It feels like that's going away. Like if you're going to act more out of love this month and you're starting to realize that. So I see that you could be receiving an exciting new opportunity, an exciting new offer of love. And I think that starts within you, okay? I mean, you're receiving some uh, messages, okay? This is a message of love, and this is a message of a new adventure or a new excitement or a new path, a new journey. And I think that, you know, you may be receiving those these messages from somebody from the other side, for one thing. Somebody might, might say, hey... Hey, it's coming. It's coming. Don't give up. It's almost here. Okay? Don't give up. I have faith in you. All right? Do you know what you want? Do you really know what you want? Because this month is about figuring out what you want. Write it down on a piece of paper. Okay? What you want. Don't write down what you don't want. Write down what you want to happen this month. For the next year, okay? And I'm telling you what, it will come to fruition. It will. I feel like you guys are really letting go of the need to control and you're letting the universe drive. It's pretty clear here that you're replacing negative with positive and I am so happy to see this. I am. You're releasing a heaviness that no longer serves you. It is. You're seeking balance in your life. It's pretty clear. This month is about balance and it's about doing the right thing for you. It's about being honest with yourself. It's about... Um, focusing on your goals and this month it's kind of like a new year's resolution thing you're figuring out where you want this next month this next year to go and it's pretty prominent for you Sagittarius you're looking for change you're go many of you are going through an a spiritual awakening okay and it's serving you very very well it is it's removing chaos it's removing negativity it's removing um unbalance okay it's bringing you um respite okay it is it just looks really 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 good you're on the verge of a new phase of life and i think this is the next step is manifestation write down what you want and this world card will flip over and you will start that next phase put it on paper Write it on a piece of paper where you want this next year to go. And I'm telling you what, it will happen. I think many of you are starting to not, not care about, like you're going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody watching this is going through a spiritual awakening. And you're no longer caring about what other people think. That's what I see. It's like, I don't, I, you know... I'm excited. I'm happy. And I don't give a shit what you think. I'm doing what's right for me. So many of you are starting to put yourself first. I like it a lot. Okay? You're deciding that to cut out the negativity. I think you're very, pretty eager. You're eager for this next year. I see a lot of eagerness here. You're eager for this fresh start, this new phase of your life. And I think you're starting off on a very positive note. There goes a card and it went to fly. It. And it's a test. Yes, it is a test. Look at that. <laughs> don't quit. Don't quit. All right. Winners don't quit. You're on the right path. All right. You're taking a more practical approach this year. This month is the start of it. Very, very conscientious this month. You are very much in your realm, you know what I mean? You are really deciding where you want this year to go. You're completely aware of your thoughts.
Yeah, it's all in your hands. Absolutely it is. Okay. Time to get your back life back on track, and that's what's going on here. You've taken the lead. It's like, you know what? I'm on my way. You're moving forward. I see mental strength here. This month is a month of mental strength, success. You're going to bring success in 2018. I think 2018 is going to be a successful year for you because you're starting it off on the right note. That's what I see. You're taking the, you're putting the, you're putting your future in your hands. That's what's here. You're putting the future in your hands and you're doing it. I see success. I see stability. I see security. I see let going with the flow. Okay. You are putting it in your hands. You are taking action, but you're also going with the flow, if you know what I mean. You're not trying to make things happen quick. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. You are doing things the most practical way. That's what I see. You're looking for steady progress. You're not looking for it to happen overnight. You're coming up with a, a wonderful plan. That's what I see. It just looks really good. I see success here. You're replacing fear. You're replacing, replacing negativity with positivity and faith. And I think that you're starting to believe more in divine timing, realizing that it will come when it is meant to come. I, as far as this month goes regarding uh, career, I feel like your focus is not really much on career this month. It's about, about you. It's about where you want to be. I don't think that you're focusing on... Um, changing your career or finding the perfect career or whatever. I feel like your focus really isn't on your job this month. I think your focus is on you, your spiritual awakening, your journey, your path, where you want to be in the next year. You're focusing more on love. You're looking more for love than you are focusing on your career. That's what I'm trying to say. And it starts within you. I see um, an awakening here for somebody. Somebody is really, really waking up. And I see a lot of success. I see a transformation. There could be um, a travel. It could be even moving. Okay, somebody could be considering a move. Because I see changes on the horizon. You may be deciding, you know what? It's time for me to start over completely. I'm ready to move. Okay? You may decide to just gather your shit and get the hell out of here. You know what I mean? I'm going to start over someplace else. Start over. Alright. Um, what else do I see? I feel like you, you may be feeling kind of stubborn okay I have to throw that out there with that king of pentacles reversed you may be feeling kind of stubborn or you were stubborn in the past and you're trying to release that you're trying to let go of that stubborn mentality focusing on your future I think uh, money and control is no longer an issue and not that you don't need money to pay your bills or whatever but I feel like you're letting go of the need to control it's pretty prominent with the king of pentacles reversed in the emperor reversed you're letting go of materialistic aspects materialistic needs you're letting go of um the need to control situations, just going with the flow, moving forward. It just looks like it's such a positive month. It really does. Um, congratulations. This is the best January reading I've had yet. Thank you, Lord. Uh, you are making progress, and it has to do with your own self-respect. In the past, you probably had lack of respect for yourself because you were trying to um, meet everybody else's needs and trying to live up to society's standards. I see this month as a wake-up call and you finally decided, you know what, I'm going to live up to my standards. I'm going to bring the balance back to my life and I'm going to be happy with who I am and I'm going to stop doing what you want me to do. I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm going to be happy about it. So anyway, I just feel like this is a very positive month, Sagittarius, and I am thrilled thrilled I think that your year is going to be great be I really do and I haven't done my yearly spreads yet but I think it's going to be good because of this positive mindset that you have 
I get your piece of paper out and make your list. I think January is about reevaluating. Okay, it's about reevaluating what you want and letting go of negative, letting go of negative thoughts, going with the flow, letting go of the need to control, letting the universe drive, let go and let God. If you believe in God, it's that kind of mentality. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of spiritual awakening here for probably very many of you. And I feel like you guys are headed in the right direction. Absolutely. I see a lot of kindness here too. Kindness. And I think your kindness is, is drawing people into you. So keep doing it. Keep doing it. You're going to be receiving messages this month, probably um, a lot of offers of friendship because people are going to be, people are going to see your, your, your change. I see changing too. came up for three people now one of my private readings and one of my um other month monthlies today weird play this must be a time of play for a lot of people play beloved one it's time to set aside work for a while <laughs> that's what i said earlier too this is what's going on in January. Work is not at the forefront. Thank you, Lord. I love it when they do this. I'm going to start over. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness, gaiety, and laughter will lift your energy so that you return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Makes a lot of sense. This month is about you. I love it. This is your life's purpose from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career and it doesn't have to be career life I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest <laughs> get out your piece of paper and write down what it is you want in this next year do it in January you're gonna be thinking about it a lot anyway put it on paper and I and it will happen it will so Sagittarius this month of January is an awakening for you. It's a time of playfulness. It's a time of uh, loving yourself, refocusing, reevaluating, and making a plan for the rest of the year. And it looks very positive. And people are going to be attracted to you because of your positive nature this month. Let go of the need to control. Don't worry about your job. It's time for you to work on you this month. It will pay off in the end. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I wish you a very happy new year.